Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to English Talk. In today's lesson, I am going to tell the life story of Thomas Cook. All of my lessons are short, simple and easy to follow. They are written to help you speak and practice your English. Practice speaking aloud the sentences and phrases. Learn and memorize them. Later, try speaking the whole of the narrative without reading any of the text. This lesson is intended to help you practice speaking fluently in English for a short time about something you know or have learnt. You can use it for storytelling to others, to prepare a PowerPoint presentation or as a simple listen and write narrative. There are no graphics or images because I want you to focus on the English language you hear. Alright then, are you ready? So let's get started. This is the story of Thomas Cook. He was an Englishman who lived in the 19th century and is regarded as the father of tourism. Just over 150 years ago, he started a revolution in travel and tourism which is still ongoing today. He came up with the idea of making a holiday available, affordable and fashionable to ordinary people, not just the rich. Thomas Cook brought us the package holiday, traveller's checks, overseas air travel, the hotel coupon and holiday brochure. It was at the time of the Industrial Revolution when people had moved from villages to expanding towns and cities. There was a developing railway network and new roads, so travel for most people was a lot more possible. Public holidays were established by the government and suddenly people had more time, money, knowledge and curiosity to travel. A holiday was no longer just a holy day celebrated on a Sunday but a chance to go somewhere and do something different. People could now link destination with accommodation, transportation and recreation in an integrated way. The package holiday was born. Thomas Cook was a true opportunist. The new holiday market was about to become his oyster and make his fortune. It all began in 1841 when Thomas Cook borrowed £10 from his father and set up a travel shop in the nearby town of Loughborough. His first excursion was on Monday 5th July 1841 for 500 people to make the 12 mile journey from Leicester to Loughborough for the cost of one shilling. People warmed to the idea and excursions were soon organised to London, Liverpool, Sheffield and Bristol. It was not long before continental rail trips were organised to Paris, Brussels and Frankfurt. Blindness affected Thomas Cook in his later years and he died in 1892 at the grand old age of 84. Thomas's son John and then his grandchildren continued the family business for many years after his death before selling it in the 1920s. Today Thomas Cook is a corporate giant as a public limited company with more than 27,000 employees in 17 countries. The name of Thomas Cook is undoubtedly a global phenomenon beyond the early expectations of the humble man who started it all. That's the end of my short lesson about the life of Thomas Cook. I hope you have found it useful and informative. See you again soon for another lesson with English Talk.